The most famous building on the square is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It serves as a freestanding bell tower of the cathedral and it took 199 years to be finished. In 1178, the foundations of the tower were laid, but they were only 3 meters or 9 feet deep. To make things worse, at the time, Pisa was a coastal town with a retracting coastline and unstable ground. So unavoidably, after the second floor was built, a heavy stone tower began to sink. As design was flawed from the beginning and the Republic was busy fighting wars, construction was halted. This allowed for the underlying soil to settle and in 1233 the second part of the construction began. In an effort to compensate for the tilt, the engineers built upper floors with one side taller than the other. Because of this approach, the tower is slightly curved, but the construction was again halted when Pisa was defeated by Genoa. After four more decades, the tower was finally completed with the construction of a seventh floor and a bell chamber for seven bells, one for each note of the musical major scale. But the tower kept on leaning. In the late 1500s, famous physics from Pisa, Galileo Galilei, dropped from the top two cannonballs of different masses to demonstrate that their speed was independent of their mass. By the 1990s, the tilt had reached 5.5 degrees and long-lasting work of stabilizing the foundation was finished in 2001 when the tilt was reduced to 4 degrees. It's hard to say how tall the tower is as it depends on where you measure it, but it's pretty clear that if you want to get to the top, you need to climb 251 steps as there is no lift. Just don't forget to book ahead.